Doesn't matter if you drive a ton of traffic to your website if you can't build a community. The audience does not care about you or what you have to offer. They only focus on caring about themselves. So what you wanna do is you wanna be able to show an actual proven process to be able to attract the traffic to your website, but more importantly, how do you build that community and that audience around your brand and your business? It's not enough that they visit your business once, but we want them to continuously come back over and over again as they keep getting value, and at the same time, they are indoctrinated through the things that you need to have. So I'm gonna be sharing with you today the proven process to be able to have that community built on the traffic that you have to your website. Now YouTube community, before you watch this video, I want you to like this video. I want you to comment below, let me know, how do you specifically build a community right now? What are the values that you want your target audience to be associated with? And how are you able to keep that traffic coming back over and over again to visit your business? Comment below and let me know right now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're gonna get future releases on videos on an ongoing basis. The first core step and the first strategy to be able to do this is you wanna incorporate a community values on your page. On your website, you wanna be able to show who is the target audience that you're going for, what is the community that you're building. So for example, when we go on honest.com, if you go on their website, you're able to actually see when you scroll down, they talk about a very important values that they have and why you should buy from them and why you should use Honest instead of all the other products and all the other stuff that's around the world. You think about it, they're selling baby products, they're selling soaps, they're selling things that are, are quite frankly commodities and it's a very brand driven market. So that's why it's so important for them to establish their values in the community that they're building for mothers that actually care about the health and well-being of their babies. So when you go down, you're able to see the values that they establish, why it's important for them, their social mission and the impact that they're having, and as it relates to the target audience that they're selling. So the next thing, for example, when you go on Red Bull, you're able to see what Red Bull has established on their own website. Who are they talking to and what are the values that are associated with that? You can see on Red Bull, they have nowhere that they show the actual energy drink. All they're showing is extreme sports, taking it to the next level, things that would dare you to challenge and embrace certain things that move you to the next level, right? Move you outside of your uncomfort zone and make you uncomfortable. Well, that's one of the processes that they use on Red Bull. The next thing you want to check out is you can go on warriortrading.com. Now, Warrior Trading is one of the top trading companies in the world online that's created one of the biggest communities. Now, one of the things that they've done to create that community, you can look on the page, the values that they have, they have a community page dedicated to talking about who they're trying to help, what their mission is, and why is it important for them to help the people that are in their target audience to achieve the lifestyle, the dream that they wanna have in their life through trading specifically. Those are examples that you wanna be able to use. You wanna establish that the core values on your own website. What is it that's important to you? What's the difference that makes a difference to your target audience? What are the values that are important to you that measure with your target audience when they see it and they can resonate with? You wanna put that out on the home page on your website. At the same time, the second page you wanna have is a community page. You wanna show images, visuals of your actual customers and clients. You wanna build that community around it. You wanna tie your social media, that connection as well on that page. This is extremely important today because that's the differentiator for you. If you're able to build a community around the people that you're trying to basically market and sell to. When you're able to build that, it's something that's defensible. It's something that's valuable to you and also to your community that you can leverage especially if you're selling a commodity-based product or a commodity-based service, that's what you wanna focus on. The next thing you wanna do is we wanna put that one central location to be able to have them start that communication with you. Especially if you're in the B2C space, you can start a Facebook community on there, add your best customers or your best clients, or the people that are extremely passionate about the interests that they're in, whatever that is for your target audience, create that Facebook group, you can go on Facebook, create that group, start inviting your customers there, start creating this community and this support network on these social platforms. YouTube community, thanks for watching this. Now you know the effective way to build that community around your target audience, whether that be free or paid, establishing the values and the, and the brand presence on your website, and how to indoctrinate and add value to them throughout that whole process so they stay loyal to your business, refer more people, and you make more sales and customers on the whole process. Now what I want you to do is I want you to like this video if you got value from it, and also comment below, let me know what's one insight you got from this, what's one question that you have, and comment below and let me know. And also if you like this new format, the videos that are much shorter now, and you get actionable practical tips to be able to implement it right away. The next thing I want you to do is subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon on this channel. This is more, very important for me to be able to have you subscribe channel so you get future releases on videos like this that's gonna help you grow your business online. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.